Hello guys, good evening. Hello, hello. Hello teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm pretty good. Okay. Okay, guys. So, yeah. just five of you. Okay, let me share. Hello, guys. How are you? I'm glad to hear once again. Let me turn on the camera. I'm glad to be here with you one week, one more week, I'm sorry. <laughs> In almost the end of the pre-intermediate tree. It's almost, it's our last. That one, that one is, that one is the last one. Yes, I, this, this is the last week. Yes, you have to complete this week on the platform to get the diploma, right? So, we're going to start today with Unit 5. Okay, the Unit 5, do that you, is a, Yes? Do you keep being our teacher or you change the world? I, I, I don't know. Unfortunately, I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> ah, okay. But, no, I think they change. I'm not sure until Thursday probably I will know it. If I yeah. will be, I will let you know on the WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. But if not, I'm sorry. <laughs> probably you will continue with someone else. Maybe in the okay. in the future we call how many how many teachers the uh, uh, you are? I don't have idea but we are a lot. So it could be any. <laughs> yes. I don't have the exact number, but yes, we are more than 10. So it could be any of us, uh, the new one. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. okay. So guys, as I was saying, um, that will be the review of Unit 5. And we're going to include like the strong topics or maybe the most difficult topics that you had during the inter pre intermediate, pre intermediate one, two, and three that you were working with me. As you remember, you study simple present, simple past, present perfect, be going to, and would like. So, this unit that will be a review about all these topics. And we're going to start with simple present. So, First of all, do you remember a little bit about that? We have the structure. So I will ask, let's see, Sara, can you help me to read the structure? Affirmative, negative, and interrogative form. Just examples, because the structure you already know. Sara, are you there or not? I think. I okay, help me. <laughs> yeah. Hello. How are you? How was your weekend? I can't complain. Uh, my weekend. Um, well, I had a great weekend. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Person simple terms and for affirmative. Um, he is a teacher. Sajal plus Bertubi. Uh, compliment. Compliment, exactly. I play football. Sajal plus Ber. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He isn't a teacher or he's not. And the next, I don't play football. Uh, interrogative is he a teacher um do you play football 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so remember. Thank you. So, for example, let's see, let's see. Something that is important, remember that when we have bird to be in simple tense, we don't need auxiliary do, don't do, or doesn't, or does, right? Why? Why, Abby? Abby, why we don't need or why we cannot use do or does if we have negative and interrogative form with verb to be? Because uh, we don't need um, because um, it, it's to be, is, um, are. Mm -hmm. We don't need it, exactly. That would be the answer. We don't need it because verb to be is an auxiliary to. So, it doesn't need another auxiliary. Yes, that would be the answer because we don't need it. And let's see what happened. For example, when according to this slide, I think I cannot add anything else. Just remember that if you have a simple present tense with verb to be, you don't need another uh, auxiliary like do or does. But with the rest of the verbs, simple verbs like eat, play, run, you need it, right? In negative and question. So if I ask, for example, um, let's see, Juan. Why I don't use auxiliary verb in positive sentence? Why? Mm -hmm. Why I don't use it. do or does in positive sentence? In this case, I think the, that is present that that is present. You don't need it. But but in some situation you can do you can do use the auxiliary do but it is to is to remind something for example uh, mm -hmm. do I do do I that is a question I I do do the laundry but I do do the laundry yes in this case I I can use it but just mm -hmm. in this case. But it's in the section. But in this case, I don't need it to use an auxiliary because the the sentences is um is an is in present. Just 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 I need to put done done and, and negative or doing question at the beginning of the sentences. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. When we use it, like you say, I do the laundry, is because the the verb do is being used like a base form verb, right? And not like an auxiliary. Mm -hmm. That would be the difference, yes. In this example, it's correct because we use do like the action to do something, in this case, to do the laundry. But it's not an auxiliary. But yes. in other, mm -hmm, okay. In the, in the other one is, but I do do the laundry. Mm -hmm. En español sería como, pero yo sí hice la, pero yo sí hice la. la but la, I, la, but, but, but that would be but, different. But, but I, I huh? you are changing, but I did the laundry. Because pero yo sí fun. hago, pero yo sí hago. Ah, but I do. Uh, but I do do the laundry. Just one do, but I do the laundry. Just, 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 just one. Mm -hmm. Ah. Mm -hmm. But I do the laundry. Like if you were a, hmm, talking with something and I say to you, why you didn't wash the dishes? And you tell me, why do I have to do it? But I do the laundry. It's not my responsibility to wash the dishes too. Yeah. That would be an example. Hmm? Okay, yes. So do not get confused. We can use do as a base form too. Podemos ocupar el verbo do como un verbo base. 
Por eso a veces en las positivas lo podemos ver. Pero él con su uso como auxiliar, como en las negativas y en las preguntas, we no. don't need, yes, we don't need to use it. Exactly, that would be the difference. So that's why the answer that would be in positive sentence, we don't need the auxiliary do or does. Just in negative and questions. And remember, it's not just do, we have two auxiliaries, do and does. Does is for which subjects, Abby, which personal pronouns we use with does. And we use she, he, and it. Yes, exactly. She, he, and it. Exactly. Just the third person singular. Third person singular. Exactly. Now let's see the next one. Let's move. We have this rule. Okay, do you remember about this? What is it? Who can tell tell me what it's about? You remember about it? <laughs> yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what is it? The third person rule. The third person rule. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. For example, we have she eat. Sorry, eat, <laughs> eat. <laughs> uh, cake. A cake. Is that correct? No. No. Why do I have to change? Why do I have to change in the first one? Just add S Just at the end add. of eat. Yes. Why? Why is and not I E S for example? Yeah. Because it's not a consonant. Because it's yes. a consonant. It's not uh -huh. the first, the first, the first. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, we need just S. And what happened if I say he plays soccer? Is that correct? Now in this case, we need S. We need S again. Okay. Yes. And what about if I say he cry all night? Okay, Abby, is that correct? She cry all night? No, it's incorrect. It's cries cries so like this no and and remove wife mm -hmm. like this yes okay yes have to remove it have to change you can see the difference between play and cry the rule because yeah. verse ending in consonant. Consonant plus Y, we eliminate Y and we add I, E, S. But what happens when we don't have a consonant? We have a vowel. We say play is vowel A and then letter Y. So we do not eliminate Y, we only add S. So the rules, you have to look the bird in base form and you have to check if we have the ending, the endings. First, that will be the, the first category that you have to check is this one, right? O, is H, T, C, H, X, double S. Like go, become goes. Wash, washes. Watch, watches. Mix, mixes. Kiss, kisses. But. What happened, teacher, if my bird doesn't finish in any of these endings? Okay, just check the next category. Verse ending in consonant plus Y. Like study, studies. Cry, cries. Try, tries. Spy, spies. Lie, lies. 
But teacher, my bird doesn't finish in this ending, consonant and letter Y. So it means that your bird belongs into the general rule. And what say the general rule? We only add S at the end of the bird, and that will be everything. So let's see a couple of examples. Okay, Javier, is that correct? She got to the hospital? Uh, it's incorrect. Why? Uh, the bird goes, um, it's goes. Goes. Because, because the bird ending in O. Mm -hmm. Yes, perfect. Now, thank you. Now, Byron, what happened with she kissed her mom? Is that correct? Or Fatima, is that correct? She kissed her mom. So sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, she kisses her mom. Hmm. Like this one. Yes. You have to have es. Mm -hmm. She kisses her mom. Exactly. And okay, Fatima, help me with the last one. He try. Teacher, mm -hmm. give, me, give, me, give me a second. I need to do something. Okay, okay. Go ahead. Okay. Fatima, tell me. He tried just one time. Is that correct? Sorry, teacher. Uh, is not correct. He tries. He tried just one time. Mm, I have to eliminate why? Uh, what? Yes. And add E, uh, I, and S. Mm -hmm. Yes. Exactly. I, E, and S. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, perfect. He tries just one time. Okay, perfect, guys. So, that was the rule for the third person singular, he, she, it. Don't forget every single time that you create question, uh, I'm sorry, sentence in affirmative, we have to apply this rule. But what happens if you say she does not cry all night? Is that correct? Let's see, let's see. Javier, is that correct? She does not cry all night. No, it's incorrect. Why? Because when it's in negative, the bird is in base form. Exactly. So if you don't use the rule, that would be just cry. Right. Mm -hmm. And we can use the, the contraction, right? She doesn't cry all night. Now let's see what happened, Abby. If I say, does he goes? Does he goes to the mall? Is that correct? It's incorrect because um, we have auxiliary in birth doesn't um, ENS. Mm -hmm. We don't just need go. It's just go, exactly. We don't need ES at the end. Just go. I come back. Okay, perfect. Because we need the the bear in base form. So when we have negative sentence with the third person singular, it means he, she, it. And questions, we don't have to apply this rule. Don't confuse about it. 
And what happened with the rest of personal pronoun? For example, I, you, you, we, they, the rule. We can use it with I, you, with they? Yes or no? Don't apply. Doesn't apply. Mm -hmm. It doesn't no. apply. Yes, exactly. We don't have to use it because remember, third person singular. Just third person singular. He, she, and it. The rest of personal pronouns? No, we don't need it. Okay, so that is clear. And we have some examples, right? Okay, Javier, can you help me to read the examples? Sure, um, that's a simple tense. He, she, it. In general, uh, the verb plus s, I read, normal. She reads, I walk, he walks. Uh, verse ending in a vowel, A, E, I, O, U. Plus I, I play and he plays. I say, she says, but birds ending in a consonant, B, C, D, F, plus I, Y. I study, he studies, I fly, it flies. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So, thank you. We have a couple of examples about the third rule. And now, let's see. <clears throat> I will complete this and then we're going to do another activity. Okay, in this one, you have to tell me if that is true or that is false according to the statement. Okay, let's see the first one. Okay, we have three minutes to complete it. So Juan, tell me, for question we use did in simple present, remember? Is that true or false? Sorry, so, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. For question, for question we, question, use, we, we use did in present or past? Present. No, 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 no. It's oh, false. It's yes, false. It's false. Yes. Javier, we use present simple to talk about actions happening now is that true sorry we use the present simple to talk about actions happening now true or false i think uh false mm, false perfect abby we always add s to the verb Um, false. False. Now, Victor, for question, we use do and does. You can give me the answer in the chat. One, two, three, four. Yes, that's true. Byron. In negative, we use don't, doesn't, plus verb. Don't. Is that true? No. In no, negative? <laughs> sure. Uh -uh. That is true. In negative, we use don't, doesn't, plus the verb. Okay. So, Byron, once again, okay. in the negative, we use isn't, isn't, sorry, plus ing in present. Yes, correct. <gasps> sure. No. No, what's <laughs> not true, what's false. Okay, Byron, we add S yeah. to the verb only in affirmative sentence. Yes, it's true. Okay, perfect. <laughs> okay, thank you. Now, Sara? Can you 
Can you participate or not? The time. Okay. Hey, Juan, we have S to the verb when the subject is he, she, it. Yes, of course. That's true. Okay. Okay, thumbs up. <laughs> okay, guys. So, that was an activity just to remember a little bit the rules to make sure that you remember them, right? So, don't forget about we don't use two questions. In question, we have to use do or does. We don't add ing because it's simple present and then present continuous. Uh, this rule is just for third person singular in affirmative sentence, in negative in questions. We don't need it. And if you are talking about the rest of personal pronouns, we don't use it. So we're going to have an activity. Okay. I will make your brain work a lot with this one. Okay, that will be kind of a game, so... That I like it. <laughs> okay, so let's see, let's see. Try to not take notes because that will be not the point of this. Okay, the, the, the main idea is to remember what the partner say. You have to create, we're going to have one rule, basically. You have to create one sentence, just one activity, in simple present, talking about daily routine. I bring the picture just to help you to, to remember the daily routine activities, like get up, take a shower, like go to work, start work, arrive home, and you have to create a sentence. For example, I will use the order according to the list. Let's see. Okay. That would be Biden. The first one. The next one, that would be Abby. Number two, number three, that would be Javier. Then, it's just one, I think. I don't want to be the last. The last one. You don't want to be? The last one. I don't want. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Okay, see. Because Victor, I don't know if you can use the microphone. No, right? I think no. And then Sarah. Okay, Victor, you you can uh, write a sentence on the chat to practice what they are saying, like the reporter's speech. If I say, for example, I wake up at 4.30 a.m., for example. If Juan had to repeat my sentence, he doesn't have to say, I wake up at 4.30 a.m. He had to say she wakes up at 4.30 a.m. Because you have to respect the personal pronoun and the third person. So, once again, the first one, Byron. Then, Abby. Number three, Javier. Number four, Juan. And number five, Sara, if you can. And you, Victor, try to write the sentence on the chat. So the activity. Each player must repeat what the last player say until she gets, she or he gets again the turn and you have to add a new sentence. For example, Sara, that would be the last one. She had to repeat her first sentence, then Biden's sentence, Abby's sentence, Javier's sentence, one sentence and add one extra. So the idea, okay, <laughs> she left. <laughs> okay, so the idea According is- According to the imaginings. Uh, no, you can select whatever you want. Mm -hmm. is, is that a specific order? You can select whatever activity you want. Just make sure 
to use simple present and a uh, daily routine. And the other, the next one should to re reformulate the sentence according she or he right. So let's okay. see. Let's start with is that clear the rules? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's perfect. pretty it's pretty hard, but it's but it's good. Okay, let's let's try it. Okay. Yeah. Byron, you're going to start. Yes. Um so classmate didn't understand them. Excuse me? Uh, uh, classmate uh, didn't understand. Uh -huh. Yes, I, I see the chat. Okay, I will, I will explain that. Okay, Victor. Tenemos que hacer oraciones con simple present hablando de daily routine activities. And all of you have to repeat what all the participants say. No? It's better? Tenemos que repetir todo lo que los participantes anteriores a nosotros dijeron. Pero utilizando she y he. No como que lo estuviéramos diciendo en primera persona, sino que she, he y la conjugación correcta del verbo. De acuerdo a la regla de third person singular. Como no, no puedes ocupar el, el micrófono, a ti te decía que las escribieras, que las fueras escribiendo. Por ejemplo, si Juan dice su primera oración y él dice, I arrive home 8 p.m. Tú no escribirías, I arrive home 8 p.m., sino que he arrives home at 8 p.m. Porque ya lo estás conjugando, no como que lo dijéramos en primera persona, sino que hablando de alguien más. Sería de he o de she, ¿verdad? Aunque ya solo nos quedamos con él. Pero igual, se podría. Para que vayas practicando el simple present with daily routine y también puedas participar en la actividad. Porque la idea es que lo recordemos, ¿verdad? No que, la, no que vayamos escribiendo. Pero como sé que el micrófono a veces... No podemos tenerlo abierto. So that will be. Okay, let's, let's going to start. Byron, help us with the first one. Yes, uh, today I wake up around 6 p.m. 6 a.m., so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay, Abby. Um, he wakes up um 6 at 6 a.m. I study around at 7 a.m. Okay, perfect. Javier. Okay, um, in the morning, I take a shower at 6 a.m. every day, normally. In the, in the rest of your classmate. <laughs> You have to repeat Byron and Navi's information. Oh, it's, 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 it's my turn. Wait, wait yeah. a second, because what's not clear? Javier, wait, wait a minute. Uh, yeah. You have to repeat Byron's information and Navi's sentence. He forgot it. He forgot Byron. it. <laughs> Byron. Um... Uh, wakes up uh, 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. And Abby? Abby? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> she is studies? Uh, yeah, she is. No, it's, I don't remember uh, about it. She said? She studies at 7. Okay. Around 7 a.m. And okay. then you said you take a shower at 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Okay. Now yeah. let's continue. The next the turn you have to rem remember all the <laughs> the previous uh, statement. We try, but I don't promise. <laughs> okay, try. Now, yes, Javier. <clears throat> no, Juan, it's your turn. Okay. 
the first guy I, I, I didn't remember his name, but uh, he wakes up at 7 a.m. And the, the second that she said that she started at 7 a.m., I guess. And the last one, he he, t he takes a shower at 6, at 6 a.m., like every morning that he said. Mm -hmm. Model S, Model S. Uh huh. Hey, what about I, you? I, I, and mine, and mine. So, sorry, sorry. Yes, and and I fit my imaginary doll. You fit. See, my imaginary dog. Imaginary job. Dog, dog. Oh, okay. Yeah. I say imaginary because I don't have a dog. That's why I said. <laughs> okay. Now let's see Biden again. Okay, at this time you have to repeat your first sentence and then continue with with Abby, Javier, and Juan information, and then add one more. Yes. About you. Uh, I wake up around 6 a.m. Abby, wait. So sorry. Abby studies around 7. Javier, uh, take, take, no. Takes, yes. takes a shower around 6 and 1. Fix, uh, so sorry, fix, I don't know how I can say that. Fit, his imaginary dog. And you so got them, man. you start, got them. Man. <laughs> and I start to work at eight. Okay. Then let's see at eight. In the morning, I guess, right? Okay. Now, Abby, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, since since the since where and I I say no since the first one. Okay, and Byron. Yes. Okay. Um. At this moment, we have two sentences. Byron, one Avis, one Javier, and one Hans. So you have to repeat all of them. <laughs> all of them. Yes. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, at the beginning, um, Byron um, wake up around uh, at 6 a.m. Mm. Um, and and me, I studied around at 7 a.m. And Javier, and, and he takes a shower around at, seven, at 6 a.m. And Juan uh, imagines, uh, imagines the dog. I think <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, so, uh -huh. <laughs> um, and the last one, Byron. And I don't remember <laughs> that say it Byron. <laughs> Byron, repeat, please. <laughs> no, he can't. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. The penalty. If you don't remember a sentence, that would be you have to add two, two sentences. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I add don't, two I sentences. don't remember and and I don't hear it well. Okay. So don't worry. But now you have to add two sentences. Okay. How about you. Mm -hmm. mm, I I get. Um, dress 
around at um, 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. And one more. Which, which one? Another, because you have to add two. Ah, si no ah, se ah, de una, la, la, la penalidad va a ser que agregan dos horas. ¿sí? Ah, ok, ok, ok. Uh -huh. um, and, uh, I have breakfast at 9 a.m. Ok. Ok, now Javier, it's your turn. That will be difficult. <laughs> you have to, one, two, three, four, five, six sentences. <laughs> What? <laughs> you have to remember six sentences. Okay. Byron said uh, he wakes up 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. And then Abby, she studies around 7 a.m. And me, I take a shower 6 a.m. Normal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And Juan, Ah, uh, you got it, you got it. <laughs> Tell me what. <laughs> oh. Okay, it's funny. Okay. Well, in this moment, uh, I was in the bathroom. I don't listen. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, another? The next one that you remember? Yes. And uh, Abby again. No, I, Byron again. Byron again. Oh, sorry, I don't. You don't, okay. The next one? Yes. Uh, Abby? Abby? She gets dressed um 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. And she has breakfast 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now you have to add three sentences because you forgot two. Okay, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, well, uh, I go to work uh, mm -hmm. 8 a.m. Okay. Yeah. And then I start work. Um... um 8, half past, um, I answer emails, no, I have lunch um, around 12 o'clock. Okay, okay, perfect, and now Juan, thank you Javier, now Juan. That would be really difficult. <laughs> wow, hello. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I lost I lost for a second. Sorry, I lost <laughs> for a second. Okay, okay. It's your turn. So you have to remember turn. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sentences. <laughs> that was a, a good joke <laughs> <laughs> okay try it let's see <clears throat> okay try it okay <laughs> just remember just 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 four okay tell me which one the Buy it on the first one, she was wakes up at seven, no, 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. 6 a.m. And Avi, she started at 7 a.m. And the Javier, she said that she takes a shower. In the morning, like he, every... he, you say she, he, 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 mm -hmm. 
He takes a shower. And okay, I, I I confused with 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 the with the water of the name, but Byron is the first one. Avi, uh, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Javier, he, he takes a a shower yeah. in the morning. Yeah. Yes. And, and Nadia started at 7 a.m. Uh -huh. and, I, and, I, and I said that I feed my imaginary dogs. And, uh -huh. and Biden again. Yeah. That sentence is I, I didn't. I didn't remember. Okay. I, I, I have to, I, I have to uh, uh, tell two, two more for each that I don't remember. No, this is the last round. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, but I, I guess. Okay. No, just, just those. Just those sentences? Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, let's see, Javier. Do you remember Abby's sentence? Abby's sentence? Mm -hmm. uh, well, she said three sentences. Uh, uh -huh. Yes, the first, uh, she studies around 7 a.m. Uh -huh. And then she gets dressed 8 a.m. Yes. And finally, she has breakfast 9 a.m. Okay, perfect. Thank you. And Byron, do you remember Javier's sentence? Uh, to be honest, no, but I will try. <laughs> okay. I remember that he says he takes a shower around seven, then he get dressed at eight, and um, he has breakfast at eight thirty more or less, and then I don't remember more. <laughs> Okay, no, I went mess. <laughs> ah, one. <laughs> no, 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 it was Javier. But oh, okay, no, okay, okay. the only that was correct was he takes a shower at six. <laughs> but the other, he get dressed was Abby's sentence. And the lunch, the, the breakfast was start work. He starts work at oh, 8.30. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. And let's see, Abby, do you remember Biden's sentence? Just one. <laughs> and he wake he wakes up um uh, around at six a.m. That's it. <laughs> I don't remember. Okay, one. the other one. Okay, Byron, tell us what was the other sentence about you. You wake up around six and you don't remember your whole sentence. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I was thinking about it, and yes, I, I remember it. I start to work at eight. Uh huh. Okay, that was the last one. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Okay, guys, so that was the activity. The purpose was to uh, be careful with the third rule person because sometimes we forgot that we are um, just speaking. We we forgot to put the S or the sound, right? I-E-S, S, or E-S at the end, and that could be a problem. So I remember when we have the, the expressions, for example get that would be like get dressed we have get up to or go well that would be get up get up this one and let's see the other that is get dressed like abby said where we had to put the the Yes. If we say she get dressed and he get up. Yes. Gets up. Mm-hmm. He gets. So don't forget. And gets she... up is the, the same meaning as wakes up. No, it's different. 
gets up and wake up and wakes up wakes up wake wake up and get up it, uh, both uh meanings uh, are the same or or are, or they are different yes they are different wake up is the moment when you open your eyes that is wake yeah. up and get up but but you but you keep keeping in the bed but you keep in bed yes mm. and get up is when you left the bed and you go to the bathroom to wash your face and Bien. any other that's is, is that uh, clear Juan? yes yes okay perfect so remember with this uh, like compose activity like get dressed get up we had to add the s in get like gets dress and gets only that correction because some of you forget to to add the pronunciation at the end of get and you were talking about he and she right and i know that the activity was a little bit tricky because you have to remember the the structure but when you are talking about yourself you don't need to add the s at the end so be careful with that it's just for he she it I doesn't belong to the rule, so just be careful with that. And let's see. Mm, we still have a couple of minutes to complete. Let me show you another type of question because we have around five minutes, and that will be easy. Uh, that will be random questions about simple present, and you have to answer it with your own information. So let's go to start and let's see. Javier, help me with the first one. Okay, let's see. What do you hate the most? Javier, tell me. Okay. Well, I don't hate that food. I hate pacaya, rellenos. <laughs> How do you say? <laughs> that would be relleno de pacaya. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Me too. I understand that. I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Yes. When we talk about traditional food, we can say it by its its name. Mm -hmm. Because it's the full name, relleno de pacaya. That is the traditional. It's like you say pastelito de, de carne because it's the, the typical food. We cannot give like uh, a translation. It's not that okay to say it. Okay, so now let's see. Bye, don't. Do you eat vegetables three times a week? Well, um, sometimes because uh, I'm on a diet, but it's too difficult. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Now, Abby, you have to complete the sentence. I at 10 a.m about your information okay i do my i do my homework at 10 a.m okay perfect now let's see what yes miss yes complete the sentence my brother or sister on tuesday <clears throat> which of them you can select or and both. you have to complete no you can select between them and you have to complete with one activity ah. <clears throat> okay oh, bird. that would be one bird okay my brother has uh, his day off on Tuesday okay perfect 
Now let's see Javier again. What do you do on Saturdays? On Saturdays, well, sometimes I play soccer with, with my friends. Anything else? Just that. Yes, and I play video games. <laughs> okay, <laughs> perfect. Now, Byron. Which ones? Which them? <laughs> No, writer. What sorry, sorry. You, okay. What do you like the most? Well, um, I don't know. Maybe go to the gym. Okay. Is, you, is that your favorite activity? Yes, it's my favorite activity in the day. Okay, perfect. Now, Avi. Let's see. Do you like staying at home instead of going to school? <laughs> I like staying at home. <laughs> yes, okay. So the answer, yes, I do. That would be. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see. Juan. Hey. <clears throat> At twelve PM. I normally go to bed at twelve PM. Okay. That is true. <laughs> Before lunch? No, twelve PM. But that is a uh, yeah. PM is noon. No, yeah, yeah. But in this case, yes, I, 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 I normally go to the bed at twelve PM. Okay, okay. <clears throat> now let's see, Javier. My mom, uh, wakes up. Well, sorry, sorry. Ah, okay. My mom come back to work at eleven p.m. Okay, come back, come back to come work. Back, come back to work at eleven p.m. But it's come or go. Comes. It depends. Comes. Comes. Comes, Comes back to work. Just comes back. Comes back to mm -hmm. work. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Now let's see, Brighton. One more. Okay. Mom or dad at 9 p.m. Uh, well, my mom. So sorry, uh, make me think. My mom is watch. No, my mom watch he, her soap operas. Watches ah. her soap operas up 9 p.m. Okay, okay. Yes, there will be watches. Now, Abby, <clears throat> your turn, and then the last one, one. Okay, what do you do on Fridays? I normally I I I go to the um I go to the ride with my friends. <laughs> okay. So you go out. You normally go out. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. And okay, Juan, the last one. 
What do you do on Mondays? And well, I norm I normally rest because in this in that day I can do many activities that I can do during the week. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So, thank you guys. So, today we will study the simple present. Then, tomorrow we're going to focus on simple past, present perfect. And, well, we, have, we still have three days because we complete one duty in three days, but we are still going to have Thursday classes. So maybe we're go tomorrow we're going to work with simple past, Wednesday with present perfect and be going to. And the last that will be would like. And if you want to study a little bit more another topic or you have another question, so sorry, <laughs> or if you have another question, you can bring it on Thursday and I will try to to solve your question, okay? So that was everything for today, guys, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Have a great night. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you, Miss. Okay. Bye-bye, take care. Bye, take care, thanks for class. Bye-bye.